老高，就老高，就老高，就老高，就老高，就老高。Radio， how dare you cut me off while I'm trying to do our intro? Hey, I gotta have some of that intro too, you know. Well, do you? Yes, I do. I am the beautiful Miss Chrissy. Well, I know that. My name is Ray Ray. I'm the psychotic, crazy one. Yeah, we thought about locking him up, but then what would we do for entertainment? Yeah, exactly. What would you do? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Yeah, okay. I didn't think we were doing a commercial for Klondike bar, but okay then. I trade you for a Klondike bar. I trade you for a Snickers bar. All right. Well, I guess we're both shit out of luck when it comes to candy. I guess so. What are we gonna do? And by the way, your yours is not a candy; it's an ice cream. All right. Well, ice cream, candy, whatever the fuck. Anyway, uh, we are two local radio. The reason that we're on here is first off, I want to apologize if anyone got offended. You know, to what I said before, but here's the reality of it. If I'm not on your show and I'm not listening to your show, did you give a fuck about me? Thought so. Exactly. I mean, if you know we're not on your show, then you know you can't. We're not going on your show talking bad about you. Then what do you care what we say? Exactly. And if we do call you out, it's because you deserve it. Exactly. But before we do any calling out or anything else. Uh, first, I want to, you know, thank everybody who's ever been on our show. I'd love to thank Brittany Bouchard, who's like top 15 in uh, Riverbend uh, Nation. I think that's what it's called. That's awesome. Yeah, I love her music. And R. Burgundy. Yeah, R. Burgundy was phenomenal. And you cannot forget Jack Nichols. Jack Nichols is a very... Exciting artist from CT. Definitely, we cannot forget him. You know, and we also want to thank, if not for dreaming, what a, what a duo, and what a treat it was to have them on the show. Exactly, and we want to thank Cap from BCB not only for coming on the show, but afterwards, for you know, having a wonderful tailgate. And inviting us, and we just had an absolute wonderful time. Everybody's so nice. And be sure to check him out on the Bold City Football Show. Yes, I'm definitely looking forward to hearing about what's going on with the Jags and, you know, stuff like that. We do our own little Jag thing. Not to compete with that show because we're just different. Um, But we're going to be joined by the wonderful... Fantastic man from down under, the land of the kangaroos. Just kidding. Craig. Uh, And it's teal time on Saturday nights. That should be exciting because, you know, I'm looking forward to hearing uh, what's going on, too, you know, and just listening to it. I want to know how what he was feeling when he was taking pictures with Jack's cheerleaders. You know, he had to have something going on. Oh, of course. You know, he probably did. All right, so anyway, we want to thank Hats Off to Dom. Everything you do, everything that you do for the young people, what Dom is, he is a recruiter for the United States military. We definitely salute you, Dom. And not only that, but hats off to you and all you stand for as I, far as with the uh, getting the kids off the streets by you know interesting them and in possibly going into the military. Exactly, and getting them a career and, you know, uh, a direction, a path. Yeah, otherwise, you know, we don't know where they would be. They could be out in the streets selling drugs or doing God knows what. But at least, you know, if they have the military as a back uh, thought, at least in their head, you know, it would be better off for them to go to career in the military than, you know, end up doing nothing. Exactly, and hats off to the whole United States military. Now, with that being said, as much as I'd love to have a bumper sticker that says support our troops, I will not buy one made in China. Whose whose, uh, troops are we really supporting? Sounds like we're supporting China's troops. And, you know, I mean, nothing against China. Like I said, I have no friends that are Chinese, Japanese, Thai. But, you know, no disrespect to them. But I'm American. I need to support my country. No offense, like I said, to any other country. I'm proud to be an American, because at least I know I'm somewhat free. (laughs) 
Oh, brother. Here he goes singing again. Notice I put somewhat. Yeah. But anyway, um, we're going to do a little thing, uh, asking each other a couple questions. And we, if we forgot anybody, like Emmanuel, hats off to you, brother. And everybody else who's been on our show, thank you so much. We, we're so appreciative. If we forgot about you now, uh, we won't in the future. Trust. Yeah, we would never forget about you. We just may not have mentioned you because we've got a lot going on with the show getting started in a couple of days. Yeah, exactly. And anonymous and magical lies, you're a blessing in disguise. The shit you come up with is downright hysterical, period. Yeah, we definitely want to have you guys on again. Yeah, and Mandy, great job on the interviews. We enjoy having you on the show as well. Yes, definitely we did, and uh, you are very funny, and, you know, we had a good time. And Mike, from uh, the comedian from New York, awesome. Mr. Awesome Sauce, hats off to you as well. You you cracked us up, man. He sure did. All right, so here we go with the questions. If you weren't doing this, what would you be doing, Miss Chrissy? If I wasn't doing this, I would have gone to either school to be a vet tech assistant, or I'd go to school probably for, I don't know, pastry chef. I think you just love animals. Oh, I do. I love animals. Definitely, I do. With that, hats off to Jackson and Margie. Yes, definitely. Jackson, if you don't know, is our bunny that we have currently. And Marshmallow is our female bunny who passed away. And they're not still. No, we don't do that to our animals. Our animals are loved. And they're not fur coats. No, they are free to roam the house. And they are just the sweetest, most lovable animals. Exactly. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, where would you be if you weren't doing this, do you think? I would definitely be a trucker, but there was a problem. I was at the net school for trucking. I was about to sign the paper. And then I had a conversation with my uncle, and he said, Oh, yeah, well, Ray, there's one problem with that. And I said, what's that? What's that? You don't know how to back up. How are you going to back up a truck? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, like I said, backing up a car is hard enough. But imagine backing up a truck. Well, it's not only that. It's, you know, you got to back up into a teeny little spot. You've got to deal with all the traffic. You got to deal with all the frustration. And we watch Shipping Wars. You know, uh, we're a great fan of them. Yes, we are. And we see all the shit that they go through when they're loading trucks. And it, it just seems like a headache to me. Yeah, and not only that, but I mean, you got to drive into tight spaces. I mean, it's just crazy. Yeah, and you're away from your family for like weeks on end. That sucks. Exactly. So, uh, you know, I just love doing this. This is my calling and everything. And anyone knows, knows me knows that I'm not selfish in any way, shape, or form. But I enjoy the spotlight when it comes to this radio show. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, but that's anybody that's, you know, in the spotlight. They enjoy it. It's fun. Exactly. But at least I'm real. There was this one this one guy. I love him to death on YouTube. He's an awesome dude. But the problem is this. You get too big for your bridges sometimes. Exactly. It's not good. You know, you get to the point where, you know, people are willing to help you out. And then you go and you bash them. I have no respect for that. I don't. No, that's not cool. Plus, when you're saying that the Xbox, and I've called them out on this. I told them, come on the show. And I'm not doing this for a publicity stunt. I really could give a shit less. Exactly. But we want to make our point known. But you say that, you know, the Xbox, which I have nothing against PlayStation. I'm not, uh, you know, a fan of PlayStation. But at the same time, I don't bash them. Okay. But you say that the Xbox is only an entertainment, you know, system. Which to me sounds like media garbage. And the PlayStation is a true gaming system. Well, you tell me something. This is what I want to know. If you weren't on YouTube and you didn't have the ability to be broadcasted and nobody could hear your voice, how good would you be? Because to me, the Xbox has for years had the greatest voice chat. Which the PlayStation just recently adapted. Exactly. They didn't have it before. Okay. But we had the voice chat in the chat room, and that's what makes the experience, and that's what makes the gaming better. Maybe you're stuck back in the pitfall days of the 90s. Exactly. I mean, if you didn't have voice chat, then if you got stuck in the game, how are you going to ask your friend, hey, 
so-and-so, how do I get past this part? I've done it many times playing a game. Asked one of my friends, hey, how do you get past this? Oh, we got to do this or that. You know, it helps. Yeah, not only that, but it, the experience is better. Even single player. You could be online with your friends playing single player and they'll root you on. And, you know, it just makes things compelling like they're right next door. When many of us can't afford their friends being right next door because we have to move to places that are out of our control because we just can't afford to live in other places that are ridiculously high. Exactly. Not only that, but we may have friends that live across the state, you know. We may be in one state and they may be in California or wherever. Exactly. So you to dog them after, you know, a major, you know, Major Nelson comes to you and, you know, lets you try out their stuff. And then you to bash them means you're a punk. You're a street punk little bitch. Sorry. No, there's no sorry about that. You are a little bitch. And I think he should come and take your system from you because you don't deserve it because you don't respect it. Yeah, you don't respect it. As a gamer, you don't respect things that are in front of you and you're a punk. That's just the bottom line. I'm sorry. I love your show. I love that you found the love of your life. But as far as gaming and what you did was a punk move. Period. Come on my show. I'll call you a punk live on the air because I don't like that. I don't like somebody giving you something and you turn around and you bash them like, well, you ain't worth my time. Who the fuck are you? Exactly. You ain't nobody. You're just a little punk ass Bitch. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, we're going to move on here. Yeah, we, we're like that. We don't give a shit. We're too loco. Did you not see her name? Exactly. <laughs> well, excuse me. Yeah, and we're going to cough, and I'm going to smoke a cigarette. Hold on. Ah, oh, gee, sorry about that. I just created a, a smoke ring, just like Truth does <laughs> when, when they're not looking at cue cards. Because if you believe that they're non-smokers... Yeah, they're full of shit. They're probably doing every drug there is in the man. You know what? I mean, it's a big deal. So what if, you know, he wants to smoke a cigarette while we're doing the show? You know, I mean, that's our, this is our radio, our, our show, excuse me. And if we want to smoke a cigarette, we should be able to smoke a cigarette. And I have the right to freedom of speech. And if somebody tried to sue me, I don't have a pot to piss in. So good luck trying to get something. Exactly. But, but the bottom line is this. We are going live in a couple days. Da, 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 2014, we go live. Oh, brother, he's singing again. Do you have a problem? Yes, you're singing. That's what. All right. What do you have a problem <laughs> with no, my singing? you could singing? sing. You could sing. I have a problem with you cutting me off like a car. Bang! That's fun. That's what we do. A exactly. You know, uh, you, we have a lot of great guests. We have Keiko Huba coming. We have Janice from Australia coming. We have Jack Nichols returning back in February when we do our ultra internet radio. We have Brittany coming back. We'd like to have the one that sang with Brittany, but she hasn't uh, returned my emails yet. I'm sure she's just busy, you know, especially with the holidays and stuff. Exactly. But uh, I think her uh, her name was uh, Miss Major. Awesome voice. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely. Like Natalie Major. And I'm not calling her out. I'm just saying she has a phenomenal voice. I'm giving her props. No, you're giving her a compliment. I'm sure she You know, like um, that. we have... From... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. We have another star. I can't think of his name offhand. It doesn't mean I don't care about you. That just means that I'm focused on too many things at one time. But he's got an awesome song uh, called Rainwater on our... Yeah, I said water, like New York. Um, we are not from New York at all. But, but he's got it on our Coming Soon artist. If you don't know who's coming, hey, check out our Coming Soon artist. We also have a DJ, a wedding DJ. Which is we're gonna talk to live. Uh, he's from the Smoky Mountains. That should be exciting. You know he does a lot of things and whatnot. We have a ma magician coming on our show. He wants to come on live and let us know what we think. We have Black Charade, which they're gonna be on. They're phenomenal. Their singer is phenomenal. Their bassist I talked to. What a great guy. 
Uh, we have so many great things coming on, along with our comedy show. If you're missing it, you're silly, because we do this five, six days a week, which is what we love to do. And there's no reason to miss out if we were on six days a week, you know? You got to hey, catch the show. Exactly. There's no excuses. Anyway, this is Two Local Radio. I am the crazy Ray Ray. And I'm the crazy Miss Chrissy. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Peace. You stole my line.